With a simple voice command, Amazon's Alexa can help you turn on the lights, play music, or order a pizza. But there is also a feature that lets you talk with other Alexa users. But Julie Watts tells us that if you're not careful, they may be able to listen to you without your knowledge. Like many, Ashley Blackwell Guerra loves her Amazon Echo. Alexa, turn bedroom light on. Okay. Which offers countless Drop cool voice-activated features no. when paired with the Alexa app. Playing songs by Bruce Springsteen from Spotify. One of the latest, Drop In, enabling instant communication between Echo devices. No need to make a call, you just drop in. I could see myself enabling this and totally forgetting about it. Ashley agreed to test it out. We yep. simply sent her a request through uh, our then... Alexa app, and she accepted. Then we muted our Amazon Echo and gave the command. Alexa, drop in on Ashley Guerra. Which, unbeknownst to Ashley, allowed us to listen in on everything she was saying in her bedroom. She can't hear me, but I can hear her. While drop in may be intended for a two way conversation, it can also turn your Echo into an eavesdropping device. I can literally press a button and be inside your home listening to whatever's going on at that moment in time. Now, tech security expert Haymoon Nagam notes you must first give someone permission to use the drop in feature, but they may keep that permission indefinitely, and you may not always realize they've dropped in. There so this is the indication. This is this is potentially all that you would you would hear. And while you do get a prompt the first time you enable drop in, Ashley notes it doesn't explain that the person may drop in at any time in the future without your explicit consent, along with any member of their household with access to their Amazon device. Now, Amazon defends the drop in feature, noting it is automatically disabled on your Echo until you turn it on. And at any given time, users can mute drop in by asking Alexa to turn on Do Not Disturb. Amazon also notes that both parties must consent to using drop-in. Julie Watts for CBS News, San Francisco. So we have uh, the Alexa. And, I, you know, I mean, this is good to be aware of. I don't think it's anything to be freaked out about. Uh, Tell that to well, the internet. Well, uh, okay, so we had um, one of those webcams, you know, uh, security kind of cam that you put up in your house. Right. We did not password protect it. And one time, all of a sudden, we saw the camera had turned and was facing us. And I'm like, why is that? It should be facing outside. And all of a sudden, it started talking to us. There was somebody watching us and listening to us. And, and we had no idea. And I will tell you, it is the creepiest feeling. Sure, creepy, yeah. Creepy, creepy feeling. So yeah. definitely make sure to check your settings. We ended up just throwing the thing out because we're like, we don't want any, we don't want any chance of somebody. It's it's really unnerving no, uh, to know that somebody was in your home with you, basically. Yeah. Did you turn this feature off on your uh, on your Alexa? No, but no one's dropped. We don't use it, so. Oh. Cool until story. until uh, Seth tries. You want to drop in on me? Go until ahead. Seth starts I'm playing I'm throwing with away it. all my webcams now, though. I've learned a little <laughs> something throw from Throw it Kim. out. You could have just like password protected <laughs> nope, it. No, we're not That'd taking any chances. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it out.